हम तुम यहाँ है तिन तपकड़ी कड़ी की मेरे इरादे थैंक यू सो मच आई गोट बी वेरिंग दिस ग्लासेस थ्रू आउट जू के जोना फर्स्ट फाइव मिनट्स आफ्टर वी वेक अप I'm finding your mobile phone because you were listening to something, and then your one AirPod is under one pillow. One AirPod is gone between the gap. You get upset with me for losing your own shit, like your AirPods. I'm not the only one. Am I the only Chill one? Chill out. Am I the only one? Mat. Aaj niche. That's because you are listening to some podcast so loudly that I have to put on my AirPods to hear what I want to hear, and then I pass out. Okay. Don't speak to me. Don't shush. Baby, do you want a beatbox? Yeah, I do. कुकी एंट्री कुकी एंट्री चल बस ना बाय Yo 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 what's up guys I'm your host with the most beautiful wife Chinmay Sharma aka Scuba Chino and welcome to our favorite podcast in the world Cookie, Cookie and, and Cream, cream. <laughs> Guys we have uh, who do we have today do you want to give, give a little quick intro I don't know I didn't uh, I might uh, give me a second give me a second No this is we can introduce her that will do our shit Yeah let's introduce her I'll think about something in the meanwhile All right so this is somebody who I'm upset with right now which you're going to get to No no <laughs> just stop laughing you're not in frame yet okay <laughs> I've known uh, her of her uh, we've communicated only on social media for the last 3 and a half years and it's taken a fucking podcast but this is someone I really look up to as a diver as a conservationist she's she's a TED talk speaker she's just fucking gangster dude she's come back from a fantastic trip so give it up for Sharanya aka truly no manly pa 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 I think I came up with something Okay well, let me just uh, break it out so uh, we have this shitty tradi- amazing tradition <laughs> क्रीम Mm. that uh, where i went my my brother is a rapper but uh, she is definitely the biggest rapper in the house so she Did started this thing where that. yeah so whenever we have a guest she impromptu uh, starts rapping uh, do you need a second to i want to break into it oh it's happening <laughs> hey there sharanya <laughs> can i oh. hey there sharanya <laughs> welcome to a pod your life's like a party insanely wild and hardy <laughs> You make me want to travel so badly. Well, it's cuz it's truly no madly. Oh God, listen, I'm going to record this privately. Are oh you sure? It was put it out gamble. there. This is amazing. No one ever rap for me. Dude, that's actually I send you a rap every now and then on done. Instagram. Done. Done. That was actually fucking banging, dude. Yes, wow, now we can start here. Take do, do you want to see your first point? But oh you God. grown up in Madras and Bombay. Did you ever think that traveling is going to be something that you seek even though you worked with MTV C studios like what did, like what got to you did i think travel would become my career never even you know when you're writing those slam books that we used to do in the oh, 90s uh-huh. now nah, like what do you want to be when you grow okay. up astronaut but were you always an avid traveler i think it's in my genes cuz my dad used to work in the airlines used to work with this hong kong based airline called cathay pacific so mm-hmm. we used yeah. to get those i don't know if you know uh airline kids get yeah. we used to get staff tickets they call staff tickets right. so everyone would think wow free tickets but it's subject to load so i have couple of times boarded the flight and then been delayed De-boarded. because of paying customers oh. come so that's the the funda but a lot of so like airline families do this i'm going yeah you got and your then seat like, you put everything and then, and then they're like, like get the fuck out but that but it's a thing in the airline industry families especially now if you're getting staff tickets once you have to go to us or somewhere far yeah, away yeah. you'll take your bet i know people who've gone one day to the airport chalo aaj nahi kal try karte hain aaj nahi so it's been in Achha, my it's like multiple uh, ejections i don't say multiple ejections sometimes it's after you've boarded sometimes it's before check in itself they'll say wait you're literally last on the priority 
so they'll say wait till check in closes like and that's when, when you are like up to badla leke rahe hogi now to travel the world to wait and watch listen by the way sorry sorry to cut you off but congratulations on the forbes list bro oh thank you that's fucking ridiculous dude that is sick a hundred you you made it on the list of 100 digital creators yeah Yeah, I would say hundred under hundred, but everyone. Is <laughs> everyone is under under hundred. No, no, bad money. Please have two sips. <laughs> so I heard yeah. your TED talk the other day, and uh-huh. I was like, I was dying to ask you this question: Ki Iran me kaisa tha? One month that See, we were in Iran. See, that was one of the no water trips that I did. That and you had such so wonderful things to say about that yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. But how is it? Like one month when did solo Iran? traveler after after the pandemic, uh, twenty. Was oh, recent then? Twenty two February. Yeah, last year. Yeah, and uh, getting a visa was an issue. Not at all. So okay. that's the thing. We these th- these places are you, so you far know. away from our like right, right. general awareness. You hmm. think it would be next to impossible to go there. Also, yes, you have to question things like will it affect my visit to the US? Israel or US? Will it or affect my visit to the UK? But I already had a US visa, so then it, it could be a potential issue if you're applying for a fresh visa. Hmm. But even that these days is not an issue because they don't stamp your passport. Okay. There is no proof of Iran on my passport. What do you mean? Off. Uh, they They're give ex- you a stamp up on a piece of paper that you have to keep with you until you exit the country, which is offered for two sidestep things like this. And why would you go to a con- like what what made well, you pick? Well, drew me to Iran. Yeah. Um, five years ago, one of my major trips that put me on the map, so to speak, was I spent two months traveling to the stands of Central Asia, as okay. well. So Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, and when I was in Uzbekistan. Is when I met a lot of you meet a lot of intrepid travelers on trips like this. Firstly, okay. you won't meet people who go to the Maldives and Sri Lanka. You'll meet people who'll be like, "Oh, I've been to Yemen. Oh, I've been to Syria. I've right. been to Afghanistan. It's amazing." So I heard so much about Iran on that trip because culturally it's a bit similar to Uzbekistan, the architecture, oh, really? the yeah, and the and the kindness. Geographically, they're not uh, not too far either. Okay. They're all in Central Asia. Even Iran is in the Middle East slash cent. So it's it's still in the Asian sort of uh, right. Space in, in, on the map, right? right? So Iran came up so often on that trip. Before which it was not even like I was like Iran, कौन जाएगा? क्यों जाएगा? But then I I read blogs even today a lot, which is what made me start my blog. Of course, I don't blog anymore because uh, an artist or writer needs validation, and nobody's reading shit. No anymore. one's reading shit. Yeah. So I stopped the blog. I think it's been three years since I stopped the blog. But yeah, even now I seek blogs for information. I'm hmm. not a hmm. YouTube consumer at all. Okay. And I don't really? watch so videos to get itineraries. Visual simulation ain't your. I can't maintain information. I will go to a blog. I'll cut, copy, paste. I'll make my Excel sheet. I'll make my Word document. So, but Iran, that's cool. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love it. I love the process. Yeah. I love the process. Then that's what sticks a little more in your. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. So yeah, Iran happened. I wanted to go in twenty twenty February. I booked my one way ticket. Okay. And before COVID hit, actually, there was some. a uh, civilian airplane that was shot down by mistake because yeah, shit yeah, was yeah, going yeah. down between Iraq and Iran yeah and obviously my dad was like no way or not going i was like yeah matlab pata hai after this even i don't want to go right Correct. now covid hit iran way before it hit india like a month before which is a lot oh it feb Damn. by feb end it was uh, all over iran okay. so obviously i was like okay this is not happening i'm really sad but 2022 um, is when i was you made, made it, it happen happened. so the visa was really simple you needed to find where do you, where do you fly to in iran I flew into Tehran, the capital. So you landed in Tehran when you right. reached Tehran. Like safe? Like that's your first thing because you're a solo traveler. Being a girl is like, is it going to be safe? Because also you want to stay connected to your parents, make sure that yeah. they know that I'm safe. What was your general idea once you got there? So um, Tehran is actually very different from the rest of Iran. It's the capital city, so mm-hmm. it's more modern. Nice. Everyone's wearing the fancy clothes, and of course, the oh, first yeah? thing that I had to get used to, firstly, as a woman traveling in Iran, was always have my head but covered. That's the right? cultural thing. It is, yeah. but it's a lot for someone. See, for someone who's a feminist, generally only you're like, who are you to tell me what to wear? Hmm. But I can question that. Maybe in my country, here I'm a visitor. Right. I'm an outsider. Why do I care? Me? Kya? I'm going to ruffle feathers or what? By asking this question, no. Secondly, as a traveler, you have to be an observer. If you don't blend in, if you stand out too much, they're not going to warm up to you. So these are things I've picked up along the way that try to fit in as much as possible. Don't try to like stand out. Do you make friends when you're traveling? Like, do you go drinking, enjoying, partying with them? Do you like? Or are you more of a let me be by myself? Like, I no, no, I'm a I'm a full social animal like that. I will take days off where I'm just by myself. Uh huh. But largely, majority is I'm I'm already like talking to people, and it's a thing. It's not that I have to make much of an effort. But you have to solo travel together. Yeah. Hmm. 
you're seeking each other. You start talking about where you've been, you start talking about what your plan is for the rest of the trip, you start talking about what you do back home and you share beyond a lot of that. I don't know if you've ever experienced it. I feel like I can open up to a stranger so easily. That's true. Wow. And There's you can vulnerable. talk about like heartbreak, you can talk about like struggles yeah. and it's It's, it's a feeling magical. of I'm never going to see this person again. So Exactly. So you don't have that fear. There is no judgment because this yeah. person doesn't know me. That's true. And it makes it kind of easier uh, to open up. No, but and I've that. sat through people telling me their life stories. They're like really, really deep shit. Intense yeah. stuff. Yeah. Intense yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like. And awful stuff. But it's crazy uh, when, when people come and just seeing the love that you get. Like I know mm. a, a few people who do what you do, different uh, mm. levels. But it's genuinely heartwarming to see the fact that uh, there's genuine love. Like whatever stories you put out, whenever there's there's comments, I, I, I do read. Mm. And again, I told uh, my last guest also that there are very few people who I genuinely follow and then follow their stories. Mm. And you are also one of them. 100% and I don't I've said it on back to back guests so it shouldn't become a habit but you know yeah. this I, I genuinely like comment I look at yourself become genuinely inspired by it and just seeing the comments of they don't need to say thank hmm. you hmm. so you're literally changing their life and I told this to Neha when she started that I don't think you realize but you're going to change people's yeah, life yeah. you're taking them to is, into yeah. a world yeah. that they've never been Yeah. and where, so how how many trips did you realize that fuck dude there's a big responsibility on my shoulders I don't think I can pinpoint it to a particular time, but um, it was around the time when I did these like intense trips that had honestly nothing to do with water. I think my water journey started much later, but these sort of offbeat places that I went to and I came back. What, and are, I some saw people's what are some of the offbeat places you've done? Most. So, you know, Iran, Kazakhstan, yeah. Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, these places. Even Egypt as a solo traveler, right. as a solo female traveler, there's a lot did of. Did people offer you camels? Uh, no, but bayou? you know there are touts. There are people who uh, if tease you as a woman. It's it's stories that are common really? for Egypt. Still? You, you get it a lot. A still, lot. What do you I mean, did now see. Uh, you know when people come and ask you as a creator, what is a safe place to travel to? What is a safe country? Where should I start? I want to yeah. go on a solo trip as a woman. Which is the safest city in India to go? Safety is very circumstantial. Hmm. I yeah. mean, you would think America is North America is safe. No, there are pockets of North America where Things you go to go downtown Chicago, your <laughs> anything can happen. You go to uh, pe what picture do people have of India outside? Hmm. Not That's good. True. I've met solo travelers, like women outside, who are like, "Oh no, yes. but India, you know, I don't know if I can come alone. I've heard so much. I've heard about rape. I've heard it's not untrue, but yes. we this is our life. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not like we're surrounded by. Or I went to Italy, so-called first world country. I was robbed. <laughs> I had the worst. Ex I felt unsafe in Italy. I've never felt unsafe in Iran. And when you say unsafe, what makes you Because it's all unsafe? around you, the narrative uh, in from the train station to everywhere else. Watch out for pitch pickpockets. Watch out for scammers. Watch out for did this. Did you get watch scammed or pickpockets? I did. I got robbed, man. I, Your passport my, got lost, my passport, right? My new laptop, my... Uh, uh, what else did it have? My passport with my US visa, which is... Jeez, my passport mil gaya jaldi. I got a new one, but that US visa I'm still applying for. And So... It's uh, safety more, is a very very I, subjective, okay? circumstantial. I don't think I can ever put out a list and say safe countries go here, unsafe countries don't go here. But circling back to Italy, uh, did you get was it daylight broad daylight? Where you got? <laughs> Under my eyes, it's embarrassing. We what? were in a intercity train compartment. I was okay. with my cousins, and I realized later when you go back and you know pinpoint what went wrong. I am so much safer and on my guard as a solo traveler. Hmm. But your guard goes down when you're with you're in a f first class AC compartment. Right. Between what can Milan go wrong? Yeah, to Chinkitere and uh, we're a bunch of us, we're ten of us. Hmm. And uh, it's a fast train, it doesn't stop at every station. And I'm talking to my dad, something's happening. I know my bag is up there on that click. It's like a plane, it's right above there. And this dude walks in shirtless dude. Maybe there's a lot of like unticketed travel that happens. Right. Because okay. you're not often checked. This dude comes in. In the first class. Uh, yes. Shirtless, homeless guy. Looks homeless. I don't know if he was. Right. Uh, slaps the cap off my cousin brother's head. So obviously was all he, the boys are. Nobody knows. All the boys are like, yo, yo, there's a commotion. And all the girls are going and saying, hey, hey, calm down. Distraction created. Train station has come. They obviously knew when to do the distraction oh. because the train stopped. Train has left the station. I've turned around. Bag is gone. It's a milli bag. And just, situation. just your, uh, just because your bag. Because mine happened to be the outermost bag in that line of bags. And you were not part of this fight. Your Imagine. cab wasn't slapped. Your Imagine. Fight. And, and I'm the one who needs her passport the most for upcoming trips. Yeah. Like you know, 
so yeah so yeah I, I, safety like us it's it's anything could happen anywhere so and and uh, egypt you said there were a lot of times that you did oh did, it didn't happen to you not at all so yeah you know people actually question me they were like you're not talking about how unsafe it is but i'm like are i can't make yeah. up and i can't fabricate a bad experience yeah i can tell you I yes this can happen i've heard of it happening because a lot of That's, people do yeah. that. like a lot of people ask me they're like but egypt is unsafe why are you promoting solo travel in egypt i was like but i had the best time people were so warm to me people were so welcoming i felt so safe i'm so excited because so, i'm going to egypt this yes, month please. and i can't oh, wait you're going to love it you, uh, but i'm going there for a wedding i'm wow, going to be getting nice. a bride ready there for her shaadi but i'll still enjoy Fantastic. the how do you get how do you get time man it's also <laughs> what i really this podcast the reason i wanted you on primarily is for me uh i'm very into like i need companionship and especially with her and it's so it, just looking at your calendar how the fuck do you find like do you do you are you okay have you made peace with the fact that i do not have much of a personal life right now or do you have a personal life and i'm fucking lying right now you just shut me up i have a po- i have a personal life visa a social friendship pers- and yeah, yeah, yeah. family and all of that i i, I think i juggle it really well yeah. mm-hmm. but yeah dating is uh, but you must be meeting such hard, nice yeah. people yeah. but then they're fleeting so right if i'm yeah. moving around so much yeah. then it's hard to build Are you okay not yeah. having like a meaningful I'm not for okay now. anymore Would you but have uh, but it's not something that weighs on my head every day but yeah, it does huh, okay. it does more now than it did in my like mid to late 20s I think for you also if you yeah. ever got into a relationship will yeah. be like a long distance even though you're staying the same city <laughs> because you're traveling yeah. or I mean if you're wishing I'd wish for a remote nomad who can like have a remote job and like But nice. you know what's even better And I'll wish for a diver cuz it's something you want to share you relate right you want to share diving But with I, all I, the I, travels I, you've done you are in a beautiful relationship with yourself which think. is so liberating They think I'm always meeting amazing people who I can like fall in love with ऐसे नहीं होता है ये सब पिक्चरों में होता है रियलिटी में नहीं होता है यशराज फिल्म में काम काम द फक डाउन इट्स नॉट यशराज फिल्म नो बट आई मीन आफ्टर अ सर्टेन एज एंड आई नो दिस बिकॉज़ There's a certain age where most people get is where they're not hanging out all the time with their friends, but they have one or two or three people. Yeah, family yeah. of course, which yeah. I'm sure you do. Yeah. And, and I yeah. see from your post, you're very tight with your family. Yeah. Uh, but the family won't give you everything course, else that. Partnership and so, is but, different. Yeah, right? Companion. Are they time like fuck? Let me just take a year off, or you're just so into. It's a. It's it's yeah. hard, man. Yeah. yeah. It's hard. Like asking. You worked your ass off to get where you are today, yeah, right? And yeah. I've seen in terms of followers, in terms of endorsements, fucking GoPro, this and that. It's it's not easy to just drop that. Have you considered it though? I have slowed down from wh- how much I used no, to travel. No, you haven't. But when are you traveling next? I told you not for the next three weeks. <laughs> three weeks is Beta, slow. Wait a one minute. Firstly, <laughs> one minute. <laughs> <three weeks. laughs> And that's a no, lie. And there's going... also a bachelorette trip to go on next week, but that's, that's not that's personal. That's personal. That's personal. That's personal. Yeah. And before this, when was the last time you got a, a week or ten days off, twenty days After off? After my, I was forced forcibly asked to stay in India because my passport reapplied. She's blushing with that. How much she? That yeah. that that's her love, her real love. <laughs> yeah, I got my answer. It's just straight up. But you have you said you're slowing down. Yeah, yeah. And and it's coming from within, not because yeah. I want to find someone, but it's just I think it's. Are just, your parents one of those? Beta. No, fortunately. That's super, no. man. They've Big ups to Uncle Andrew. They've obviously tried, and they obviously right. like mom will be like, imagine if you had someone to help you shoot all the time. <laughs> I'm like, wow. But I'm sorry to bring it up. No, wow. not. That's At least she didn't ask you to not do it. She told oh, you continue all. doing what you're yeah, doing, no, no, yeah, enjoy yeah, yourself. Yeah. But it would be great to have some yeah, 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 companion yeah. to kind of help you shoot, which is great. Yeah. But do you ever wake up sometimes like? अब मैं थक गई मुझे आज ये फ्लाइट नहीं लेनी है ऑफ कोर्स आई हेट पैक इट हैपेंस यू वुड थिंक यू नो पीपल विल से दैट समटाइम्स अरे यू तो पैक एंड अनपैक सो ऑफन नाउ यू नो नाउ व्हाट गोस वेयर आई एम नो आई स्टिल क्राई आई एम क्राइंग व्हाइल पैकिंग आई एम लाइक आई कांट डू दिस आई डोंट वांट टू डू दिस आई डोंट वांट टू टेक दैट आई हेट द जर्नी आई एक्चुअली जेन्युइन आई वुड दैट इज ब्रो यू आई थिंक यू मस्ट बी आई टेल रिया ऑल द टाइम एंड वी वी दैट शुड वी ट्रैवल क्वाइट अ बिट I want to already get to the place. Yes, I, I love the, the journey. The fact, and she is I the fucking. The and okay, as someone, uh, a creator who has all this equipment, right? I have my GoPros, I have my st- uh, drone, I have this kidney, heart, sab nikalna padta hai. It's security check. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And I hate, like I hate the process. I'm like, I wish Actually, life was a was a reel where I could 
transition from home. Can we skip to the good part? Exactly. <laughs> Waiting for the day when I can actually skip. I have to finish it. It's a, it's a mental thing. We have a guest talking here. Cookie, come on. Uh, 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 uh. Well, can I just say you're being really fake today? I want to say you're being uh, you're being very. Uh, uh, Anyone interested in what he's saying? Nobody. You know Neha. Hmm. Uh, you and Sharan have worked together. Neha and I work together. Sharan and I are friends through a. Conversation. Sorry, correct, 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 correct. correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking, I wish I'd done as <laughs> as much cool research as you have, dude. Embarrass <laughs> myself. Sorry. So yeah. 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 And uh, of course, this is something Neha said very recently. Yeah. Was there ever a Mm. Right, new player. I see you. Or was it always like, come on, dude? It's it's just this lovely community. Let's fucking go. Absolutely not. Because uh, firstly, I don't. This is not my full time gig. Yeah. I do it maybe three four times a year at the most. Secondly, nobody owns the oceans. There's room for everyone. I know. I I mean, Neha and I are two people who do this. But there are, I can name at least five more players already. Right. But everyone's getting sign ups. Everyone's getting people to come. So there's no like you're eating my share. I wish I'm everyone, but it's shares. such a. It's it's tragic how some people look at it that way. But I I it really be, think if I you actually so open sad, your eyes yeah. and did an analysis, are you ever not selling your trips? No. Build a community, so make it stronger. I think more than just a community, the door key baade because I don't think you're in it to build a community. First is obviously is business. I'm in it to meet my community actually, number one, and enable That's them to die. That's fucking amazing. Because I get to meet the people who make up these numbers, See, and it's beautiful. Like you asked me, do I get a lot of like divas on my trip? So far, no, none. And it makes me so proud because I'm like, oh, these are the people who. I think you're attracting what what you put out, right? And I'm finally getting to see that, you know, like oh, right. these are the people, and that's why I don't get. Touch wood, to touch all the wood you can see. Too much hate, like the hate that even comes comes from maybe strong opinions on obviously polarizing stuff. Like say I put out anything on politics, gone. Always there's going to be someone. That's who comes anybody in though. Right. Or if a you know a reel will travel to outside your audience, then right. someone might come and say, "Hey, Kali, okay, I hear," or you know shit like no that. No way, people don't speak oh, like that. Really? Of course, of 100%. course they do, man. Of See, what is our they troll? Do. They're just trying to come and get you down because they are already having a fucked up day. Oh God. So they'll come and they'll they'll look at you. They'll assess. What are your like? What are your travel must-haves when you're going on these trips? Except your equipment. I'm not talking about your GoPro Pepper or your spray. Correct. Are you allowed? Like, you can travel pepper. internationally yeah, yeah, yeah. with uh, yeah, yeah. in your of course in your yeah, uh, carry on. Uh, carry on uh. Yeah. So pepper spray you carry Depends everywhere. Depends on like in Hong Kong I was stopped. It's not allowed only. Pepper It's counted spray. as a weapon. Oh. Yeah. I yeah. I'd, I'd imagine. Have you so ever you have, have you ever tried on yourself? Thankfully, I haven't had to use it at all yet. No, no, but have you? But yeah, I'm very capable of being that clumsy idiot who. I kind of sprayed it on my hand I've, by mistake. I've done it. I've done it just to see what it is. And bro, pain. We did, we, I torture. did it out in my corridor. Eyes. And uh, no, I, I put it in the air and then I just walked it out. Oh. It was, bro. It's bad. Yeah. So yeah, so only use it if you're super careful. Her, guys. Don't yes. Anywhere in the world, where this. Don't fuck with truly no marriage. She'll fuck you up, guys. She will truly fuck you up. <laughs> 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 Other than the pepper spray, yeah. uh, must haves. Hmm. I always have a book with me because sometimes you there's no network to Netflix and all of that. Okay. And I okay. need to occupy okay. my brain with something. What about like a, the faucet for Europe, dude? Jet showers for life. <laughs> I took it that's, to Europe this time. time. I even yeah, I shared it. Air tags. Air tags. I wish my air tag in Italy was <laughs> that backpack, but it was in my suitcase. <laughs> but so they are so easily have, available uh, everywhere. Air tags, online, like you yeah. keep them in your suitcase, and then it's like a uh, yeah, it's on GPS. You, track you can it on find your phone. it. So now I also will keep it on my yeah. huh. in my backpack. Don't your back get fucked with hotel beds? But I can't. If I had to I live your life, so people put nazar on this. Don't put nazar. I can sleep anywhere. Any time at the drop That's of a hat. That's her, dude. She can sleep like, like a horse. She can sleep standing. Nothing. I can sleep on this chair but right now. But doesn't your thirties me thoda abhi. Your bag, like sleeping on the soft. Mm, I have not had that issue yet. Okay, so okay. Let's keep it. So those those things don't. But she's the kind of person who uh, we sit on our seats, and before the plane has taken off. Out. Okay. Well, I will probably stay up till I can get that uh, shot out of my window, and then I'll pass <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, I'm good to sleep the second yeah. I'm seated. Then I smell food. Same I wake up, zone. eat, go back to sleep, and then once the plane lands with that joke, oh, I'll get up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to speak about this influencer thing because I know a lot of Sorry, times ha, people that. don't. It's also kind of mocked at to a great extent. He's an influencer. Hai. She's an influencer. What so what do you word? really do? And you're like, influencer. but it's a full time job. Yeah, but it's a word. I'll tell you what, genuinely, and I I hate myself for repeating this, but I've just had two fucking fantastic guests back to back. 
there is a big difference between it being a according to me mm. right this is not mm. set in stone being a creator and an influencer and according to me the difference is what we discussed about right now mm. right you create content but mm. based on that content you have influenced the lives of hundreds of people so you and hopefully positively at large not even if it's negatively mm. uh, i'm mm. saying chal mm. 98% 2% to le lo kisi ka sabka acha nahi rahega but you have genuinely right mm. but when you see the reason why i hate the word even though i'm not one the reason i hate the word is people who are not influencing jack right and and just showing the right amount of skin mm -hmm. right or doing the silliest amount of things i'm not influenced by you yeah i'll click on your page and oh fuck that's a hot cooks she's hot or look at that oh fuck he jumped you're not influencing me buddy so i think the word is used so weirdly yeah. uh and when did you did you feel that chal this is the point where become from, gone from a just a creator to a to a so of course i didn't have this particular distinction in my mind it was just that i always thought yes that the word influencer is now almost used as an insult not as a that's true yeah not even as a descriptor it's yeah. used as an insult yeah it's ever raised right? brow and so a lot of us also are like i'm a creator that but that distinction was only because we thought now we don't associate with this word only it's become such a negative connotation but around it but who started it. with making it a negative um uh, see there is a stereotype for every kind of industry every kind of person in this world right not person like say any any community that you see be it a chartered accountant what is the stereotype that comes to mind you'll say boring chashma button down like yeah. wearing boring clothes yeah so stereotypes exist and i believe maybe they come from watching a collective pattern that you see and hmm. with influencers unfortunately the associations are largely must be a diva is a freeloader kya kar rahi hai matlab what is she doing to deserve uh, you know all of this uh, uh, these accolades she's getting free stuff she's getting to travel she's getting to do this so it's always and it's so public our lives are out there every you think you're seeing every part of our life firstly that's not true yeah but most most of them put out what sells joy sells the highs sell hmm. uh, the minute you start talking about your life right either you're seen as someone who's crying for attention or hmm. who records themselves crying sure you're only seeing largely the happy parts because the minute someone starts sharing too much of the reality which is the sad stuff also yeah. either you're called out for seeking attention or you're called out for being like are i follow you to escape my life yeah i don't want to come now and see your uh, sob story right right so there's there's this pressure of finding that fine line between oversharing between being too toxic positive between being too out there like are why are you telling me about your uh, breakup why are you telling me about your uh, ptsd why are you telling me about your postnatal depression i don't care these lines are very hard to uh, navigate mm. some of us get it right but nobody gets it right 10 on 10 i can actually say that it's impossible it's right? impossible to please everyone but it's so public that you're called out and so now everyone's bracketed under this one word of influencer so, right and i know fellow creators i've also been there the minute something is said negatively about influencers you put yourself in that bracket cuz you are an influencer hmm. and then your day goes to shit like, you're like I, I oh my god i feel bad that you have to even think twice before saying right. calling yourself right. that i'm sorry but i think what i have learned and i think i've learned it fabulously well is i am not in that bracket why because like you said i have stuff to show that i have built something authentic and yeah. with integrity and credibility because it's there for me to see in my comments in my dms in the response from my audiences that they will call me out if i'm crossing the line they'll say listen we don't want to see this and i always listen and have you ever got called out for the clothes you wear because that's another um, fucking shit show that i yes i i, I feel like a lot of my creative friends go through it i don't get called out too much cuz again fortunately i fit the mold in, in i am not a big girl oh, i'm okay. a petite girl so what i wear does not come across as can i also tell you i think i think in your pictures and your videos i think you look fabulous it, it, i mean that but see that's course, because i fit a stereotype i think it's because no i think it's because you own it I When do. I, I do. You, I have no apologies bro, for would, what I wear. I see you in a sari on a beach in Maldives. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's no me. Yeah, yeah. Then people will be like, no. Yeah. But you, I think it's because you genuinely were enjoying yourself. I do. I do absolutely. Right? But I tell... also feel I don't get called out by the Turkey Brigade a lot. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not too much of anything. Your friends get called out for it. Of course, big boobs. Why are you big, showing that? Yeah. 
ंग <laughs> In front of, yeah, in front of everyone. So you know, thick skin. So unfortunately, the the way I would want the world to go is the world should change. I will do what I want to do, but the world is changing very slowly. Yeah, yeah. It take a lot of time. So now yeah. maybe. Do we learn to deal with it and not? I also feel like the world will keep changing, but you have to change how you deal with the world. Sometimes it's a, it's it's both. Yeah, it's a constant. Let's work on myself, like. Situation. Yeah, and how how much I let something get to me, hmm. and some of us are more strong in that front. We're able to not let shit through our armor. Yeah, right. some are not as strong, and I and it's okay. Can I be yeah. honest with yeah. you? Because you, I work in the bridal industry. You've been trolling. Actually, so far she's not been honest, huh? That's yeah. No, about this. This is a very <laughs> this is a very sensitive topic to me. Honestly, <laughs> it really yeah. gets to me. Hmm. I work in the wedding industry, and I get brides ready, and it's sometimes disheartening when they tell you. Right make, me make me fair or yeah. i want to look fairer than my husband or my in-laws want me to look fair and it's like what are you teaching Damn. the future the generation future. that if you're not fair you're what not what do you tell them though do you i'm okay? the wrong person for you i'm not yeah, the right yeah. makeup artist i can try to add glamour to your face but that's all i'm here yeah, to do yeah and i can help you i'm not uh, here to change your skin color pronounce your feature right. i can help you yeah Bring out there are many people who can't fabricate. Thought. Yeah, but it's a shit thought according to me. Correct. And I might get called out on this, but I just find Most it like. But it's it's that conditioning, there, nah, that like, hardcore conditioning. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.